Hello again, everybody. Twilight Prince 123 here. Once again, back for some more year round. Well, uh, I may have, um, I may have, like, pretty much finished everything on here. At least, achievements wise, at least. Uh, but there's still quite a lot to do. And there's, in particular, one seed that, uh, the rest of the year end Discord has actually been, uh, asking me about to play, so, uh, I'm just going to do a quick little blind run through it. This was actually going to be a special run, because... According to Hero of Fire, I should actually do this seed on partner mode. So I'm going to do that. The seed in particular is Oops All Sky. Apparently, this was actually a bit of a joke that had been going on in the year-end Discord for quite a while. It's like, what if every, what if every, every area was a sky-based area? And apparently, this is what it is. Here's the question that I have, though. Like, is there really enough like sky-themed areas in year-end to actually make an entire scene out of them? I guess we're gonna find out, aren't we? Now. As much as I would actually like to show off my own character, I have not played as Wanderer yet. And that's Hero Fire's character. So let's uh, let's go and get that choice. We could play as the girl. We could play as the boy. I'm gonna play as the girl. All right. Oops, all sky. Here we go. This is new. Twilight Cliffs. Huh. Well, okay then. Um. Oh. Um. Hmm. Also, I wonder what my weapon of choice is. Apparently, it's a chakram, and there's apparently a way over here. There we go. Oh, okay, so that's how you're supposed to get over there. Alright, makes sense. Okay, so how their MP regen goes is that it quickly regens to 10% of your HP. But it doesn't quickly go faster after that. So it's not like Dracus or Holmes regen. Anyway. So, Twilight Cliffs. This must be a fragmented exclusive area. Because I've never seen this before. It's kind of pretty. I like the music choice, too. It's very nice. That's a life orb. Come over here, you. Can I throw this diagonally? I can! Not bad. Oh, there's train tracks here. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy, there's train tracks here. Okay, but where's the train? Ah, it's over there. Expect me to get to it though. <clears throat> well, what the what? Why are there switches in the grass? You know, considering the number of them, I'm not going to push them. You don't just put switches in the grass and not push them. Ah, okay, there's a coin there. Because I'm guessing, by just by what I did, if I push one, yep, can't get in there. Uh, we'll see what's up that way later. I actually want to explore a little bit more. Wait, this opened. Is it supposed to? Uh... 
I don't think that was actually supposed to open. Question mark? That's weird. You know what? For fair sake, I won't get that until I solve what I was probably supposed to do. Crack, give me some space. Thank you. Yeah, something tells me that door was not supposed to open the way it was supposed to. So there's the way this way. Aha! That's a train! And it's not a nice train either. this way. Aha! It goes back down that way. Ah, but that hits a dead end. Okay. Ow. Hmm. But then how am I supposed to... Ah, I see what you're supposed to do. Alright, go along, little train. I'll be right with you. <laughs> I gotta think a little outside the box on this one. Gotta go all the way back around and not die. Let's try that again, shall we? <laughs> this is a cool area, honestly. This is actually a pretty interesting area, although I admit it's uh, a little complex for a starting area, I have to say. Try that again. Go along, little train. But yeah, from the look of things, you're supposed to go around. Actually, yep, oh, watch it, Croc. Yeah, because that's already open? What? I don't think that's how it's supposed to go. Whoa, whoa, hang on. There we go. Yeah, and then that's how it's supposed to go. I'll bet. Well, since I did it naturally now, I'll, now I'll grab this. I'm not sure what happened there. I don't think that door was supposed to have opened naturally just for killing all the enemies. Russ, a Russ or Avon or whoever made this area, if, if you're watching this later, you might want to look into that. Moving on. Oh crap, there's under sand parts in this. I had a feeling. Although it I see that block there. That looks like it's uh looks like it's quake locked. So not doing anything with that <laughs> God chakra rips this thing apart. Because it pierces. Take 
that. Alright, what's up here? Oh, that's swell. Sneak up right behind me, why don't you? Hmm, clever. They don't go up and down. Anyway, what's this direction? Eep! <laughs> Why this area? Why this area? Why'd you have to put this in there? What does this have to... Well, it's the Lunar Tower, so I guess it has to do with the sky. Anyway. Hey, free coin. Hey, Vey. Why'd you have to put that in there? Oh, no, no. Well, we got one other way we can look. Because we're definitely not going that way because we don't... Well, for one... Ugh, and two, I don't really have a shadow weapon. Better idea. No, no, no. Get out of my way. There we are. Let's be a little faster. Yeah, thought that looked off. Alright, what's up yonder? Playroom? Really? Really? You just stuck the playroom in the sky? Well, at least if anything, this is a map I know. You literally just copy-pasted Yure's playroom and they just put a sky background in it. <laughs> That's just kind of silly, honestly. <laughs> I wonder. Ah, that works. That, on the other hand, I need the fire switch for. want to bet float is nowhere in this game. Well, no wait. It would have to be somewhere in this in this scene. Ouch. Because there are a couple of areas that, like, say in the middle of the playroom here, that require float to get to. So float has to be somewhere. Two to one says at the very end. Shortcut, there we go. I know that's a check, I'm just trying to remember what it was. Yeah, it was light. Ow. And that's death. <laughs> well, at least I got the shortcut open. Key. A key for 
Open this, and under we go. What? Excuse me? Oh, right, I don't have Earth Defense yet. I'm a little dumb. Can't just stand there and take it. Not yet. And under here we have a coin of light. Oh, right. Gotta kill him first. Ow. <laughs> or I could just die myself. There are times I'm good at dodging. Other times, not so much. There's a double coin over there. Which makes sense, because this is partner mode. Now, let's finish getting this key, shall we? Thank you! I still just find this funny how it's literally the playroom just with a sky in the background. You did that just because. Oh! Give me a second. Thank you! And now we get to see what's in this direction. Ah, Silver Springs. Okay, that makes sense. Silver Springs is in the sky. Aha, uh -huh, another coin. Whee! Right, that's a light check if I'm right. Alright, this part. Well, I have Petal Shield to absorb some projectiles if things go awry. I say that as I get hit in the face. Oh, no, no, that's right! Petal Shield only can absorb things if you have the resistance to them. Duh. So I would need to find one more coin in order to gain fire and earth... Sorry, water and earth resist. Excuse me. I need to find another coin first, but unfortunately I don't think that's going to be possible because... I don't think there's any other coins I can get before this point. At least not, at least not to my knowledge. Should probably be using this a little bit more often. That was close. Well, at least now I don't have to do it anymore. I could see what's down that way. Yeah, 
There we go. There's early water defense. That opens the shortcut. Click on that. And we can also go up this way. I remember something over here. Yep, there we are. Remember that from my Raycon playthrough. Aha! There's Quake! Alright. If I was playing Sona, she'd be very appreciative of that right now. Ugh, getting through this room without float, though. Yuck. Alright, you know what? Let's uh, see what's south of Silver Spring, shall we? Let's see what other nonsense I have to put up with. I mean... Okay, so, thinking about it for a second here. So, there can only be one of the actual sky areas from either Yure, Yurand, uh... Let's see. The Raycon Sky was a Tier 1 area, so that's probably going to be what Tier 1 area, one of the Tier 1 areas is. And Lunaria's Sky area, I believe that was a Tier 2? So, hmm. Well, let's find out. Ah, Pantheon of Wind. Of course, Boosh's Sky area would be here. The problem is, now I don't have float to cheap it. <laughs> but I do have another portal. Right, this is a quake check. And it just so happens I have quake. Oh, hey! <laughs> Lucky break! Give me that. You know what? Fair enough. <laughs> that was a bit of a lucky break with that hourglass. <laughs> also, I distinctly remember the hint. Aha! I'm starting to appreciate Moosh's Labyrinth in a different light when I don't have float to cheese it. <laughs> Let's see. This was a fire check, but unfortunately I don't have fire at the moment. Lucky break it. Wow, okay. <laughs> Even if I don't have float, I'm getting some lucky breaks with these item drops. Ow. Just gotta watch how they move and. Oh, wow, I actually almost made it. <laughs> okay, okay. Again, like I said, I'm starting to appreciate this area in a different light now that I don't have float to cheese it. Wait, yeah, that's the green.
green one. Oh crap, I just realized. This seat is perfect for Soto to start with. I mean, okay, think of it this way. Think of it this way. I have early Quake, I have early Light Arrow. What's Tooth? And I have early Petal Shield. I literally have all three things that Sona specializes in. It's like the scene was made for me. Seriously, I, I just realized that. This scene is literally made for Sona. Seems almost a shame now that I'm not playing her on it. Too quick. Oh god, I just remember the I just remember the room after that. Ooh, that's going to be nasty. That room is going to be nasty without floating low health. Magic on light elementals, you nimrod. of the spikes wrong. And I was also too slow. Yeah, the lower spikes go to the right, whereas the upper spikes go to the left to actually encourage you to use those paths. Alright, well, that's three down. That leaves only this away. Thank you. 
How are you actually supposed to hit that from here? Oh, that's how. dodging there, but okay. I got it. And I even got back unscathed. Well, I say unscathed, but more so alive. <laughs> Alright, so... Now the big question is, who's the boss? Let's uh, quickly just make sure that I restart there. Which one is it? Which one is it? This one. Alright, let's see what I get. Oh, hi, Notos. Funny, didn't I run into you here on Moosh's when I was on Moosh's uh, labyrinth the first time? get a fire weapon, though, uh, there's not really many other checks that I know of here. Yeah, there's only one other check here. Okay, then, so... Hmm. I guess I have to go back to Silver Springs? And try the other direction? Yeah, that seems about right, honestly. Although... Although, I can actually go back to the starting area now that I have Quake. Let's try the other way on Silver Springs first. See where that leads. Still can. I am still kind of, like, amazed you guys just put in... Put in the playroom. And just stuck the sky back right on it and be like, okay, yeah, that works. an item in there, because if I remember correctly, that's where you got Phantom Dash and Raycon. Yes. 
sooner I can get rid of that, the better. Come down here, you. Ah! Very worse. Okay, so I actually have to go the other way now. Which means I have to handle that room. Namely, this one. This seems more like an advantage position. Okay, one corner of light there. this way? Because I don't have the blue key, and there's no indication of where it is here, because I know it's up there. It's gotta be up there. But I need to go this way to get there. I think this is actually a float check. If it is, then, yeah. I need some way to get float, otherwise... <laughs> This seed's gonna be a might impossible. Or at least a impossible 100%. Well, I suppose no choice now but to uh, check the quake check here. Why did I take that one? I could just go this way. Da -da -da. Wait. Wait, I can hurt. Um. 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 Actual F? Okay, what is with this screen? What the hell is with this screen all of a sudden? Not only can I actually hurt enemies from underground, but apparently uh, golems can just walk into walls and just say, fuck it. <laughs> Rush, you might want to look at the screen. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is the sand script that's doing it. <laughs> sand script. But, uh, yeah. I apparently can't hurt him. Oh, yeah, look, see? He's wandering around like he don't give a hell. 
I am forever calling you the Eternal Golem. <laughs> yeah, see? I can even hurt bats from under here. Are you gonna walk off as well? No? Abyss de more. Did you guys seriously just do this just for this scene? <laughs> what the actual hell? <laughs> Abyss de more. <laughs> the abyss of love. Literally. <laughs> Okay then. So after that little um after that little thing happened <laughs> Oh, Russ is probably going to be hitting his head over what happened on that screen. Or rather, on those last two screens, because I think the sand script kind of broke on them. <laughs> I am so sorry in advance, Russ. I am so sorry in advance. That's... I, even I know, like... Look, I'm not much of a programmer, although I really honestly want to be so I can actually make an area of, of this quest myself. But even I know that the sand script is probably not supposed to do that. <laughs> it doesn't take a genius to figure that out. <laughs> so this is Lactamore B, from the look of it. Or should I say Lactamore S at this point because it's oops, oops all sky. <laughs> It's literally the same map, except it's got a sky in the backdrop. <laughs> Hang on a second. There's normally an item right here. Uh, how are you supposed to get it? I know there's normally an item in the water here. Now granted though, it, there's usually frozen water here, but... the gimmick of this entire scene. You guys take all the levels that are sky associated and then just crammed in a whole bunch of other levels and slipped a sky backdrop on them just to, because haha -ha, lol. should have waited. <laughs> oh well, I got the key. That's what counts. I missed a more. God. <laughs> right, now I remember I actually have to go all the way around just to make a shortcut to the other side. I 
I really should have started out with Sona, but on the other hand, I also didn't want to be, like, too biased, and I wanted to give all the characters, all the new characters a try. I intend to give Sylvia a decent try, because A, I want to, uh... A, I want to, of course, you know, see if there's any, like, minute differences in the BB and Sylvia story mode. Uh, if you, you know, start off as Sylvia. And B, because, well... Uh, admittedly, beating the tier genre duo fight it left a small bad taste in my mouth when I finished it on relaxed. So I at least want to beat it on normal. Times I've been, as I've been seeing them, I've been seeing one by now. Where was the last button? I think it was over in that other room. Maybe if I say her name three times, she'll show up. <laughs> facing tier 2 heart with this low health. Fuck off. <laughs> no thank you, sir. <sighs> Except that the only other path is over there and... <sighs> Alright, well. So much for this way, I guess. Wait, then I don't get it. Where am I supposed to go? actually happened on that screen. Like, wonder if it'll happen again. Yeah, I can still hit these guys. That golem seriously just does not give a fuck where he goes. Hmm. 
Unless I'm missing something in Silver Springs. Which way was that? That was right outside of, uh... Pantheon of Wind, yeah. Unless there's something I'm missing in Silver Springs. Grab that. I think there may have been something I missed here. Unless Float is being hidden in a very precarious place that I don't realize. stand here, those shadow balls can't get me. Only the moons can. I can do this all day. There we go. Yeah, that requires the blue key, but that's on the other side. But I can't get to the other side without float. Or from coming in from the other side. Which, I don't know if I can at this point. Hmm. These are questions that I am not having the answers for yet, unless I miss something in one of the other areas. I'll give it a quick glance, but if I don't find anything, I might just have to pause my run through this. Besides, if anything, that'll also give Russ a, a bit of leeway to, uh, figure out what the fuck was wrong with that room. One of those two rooms, actually. Yeah, the only way to get out, to get up there from right now, unless I get float, is to come in from that direction, which I don't know where that is. Is there a way to go up from there? If there's a way to go up from here, then I have another path I can take. Other than that, I... Other than that, I don't really know. Above ground's a lot easier to traverse here. from the other side. Are there any other exits I haven't looked at? I swear to God, if you are actually required to fight and defeat Tier, uh, tier 2 um, Heart at this point in the game, I'm gonna be mad. Let's see. Wait. Uh, space bar? Wait, where's my space bar map? You are literally hearing me push the button for my map. It is not working here. Russ, you really need to relook over this entire area, I feel. 
because the spacebar map's not working here. So there's... let's see... Where did this up here go to again? Right, I went up here. Except that I can't do anything here because I don't have a shadow. Yeah, this makes me kind of wish I had a shadow specialty character. Okay, so I can't go into Lunar Tower because I don't have a shadow. If I at least had that, then I could at least do the double boss fight. But I don't have that. Yep, spacebar space bar map's still not working here. What am I overlooking here? Let's see. The areas I've seen so far are this area, Twilight Cliffs. I've seen Playroom, question mark. I've seen Abystamore. I've seen... I've seen Pantheon of Wind. I've seen... what else? What else have I seen? See, this room be completely busted as hell. And he only does it when I'm underground. On top of that, I'm able to harm things from underground. They can't harm me. Well, all things except for these guys. By going this direction, I pop out here. And I can't take the other exit out of here because, well, that's a float check. I can't go that way. Just curious. Just trying to see if any others will pop up. Well, on top of that, I still haven't even found a partner yet. <laughs> oh yeah, I never... I never found out what's over here. Maybe this might be the answer. Or not. Whatever's over here, I don't know because there's another shadow check. <sighs> Am I actually required to go into a bonus dungeon? That'd be no, that that would be dumb at this point. Then again, I. I could technically go in this one, because that's wind. That's... oh. Maybe not. Apparently this... apparently, although this thing is metal, it's not considered that for this. I almost thought I could actually choose that. Can't do that, because I lack all of those. Can't do that. Well, I say lack all, but I got light. Can't do that, because I lack water. Okay, I guess on that note... I suppose on that note, um, yeah, I, I, hmm. 
I have no idea where I need to go. I swear to Christ, if I am required to fight Tier 2 Heart at this point in the game, this seed suddenly turned from the most humorous to the worst. That is just my personal opinion, of course, but... <clears throat> Anyway, uh, I guess I'll just stop this here for right now. I'm going to definitely show this to Russ because, holy fuck, what was with that room? <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Um, I'll talk to y'all later. Uh, y'all stay safe, keep healthy, wear a mask, all that good stuff.